Hello YouTube and welcome to another Tech Laws video. I got something pretty cool here. It's a solar panel for on the go with a USB port so that you should be able to charge your mobile devices. I always wanted to test the solar panel uh, charging devices. Last year I nearly bo bought one myself but this year PowerEd came to me and asked Hey Tech Laws, you're always doing some funny videos. Do you want to test one of our solar panels? And I said yes, send it to me. I will test it. I will tell the people if it works, if it's okay, and if it's bad, I will tell the people this one too. So uh, this one is the version with 14 watt. Uh, there are different versions: 7 watt, 8 watt, 14 watts, 20 watts. I uh, I also saw a version with 60 watt, and the package, the box is heavy. So this is something uh, that really surprised me. Ooh, for nice color. I always thought the things would be easy. Uh, light because I thought it's for the go for, to be mobile but this one is nearly around one kilogram and we got some some stuff to read we'd love to hear from you oh this is how to to review the purchase on Amazon or so but we also got a user manual and let's see high efficiency transform efficiency of power at solar panel 7 to 18 percent product specifications we got 7 8 what no we got the 14 watt version output so if you are in the desert and the sun is shines in under ideal conditions you should get 5 volt 2545 milliampere and the weight is around yes 850 grams so around one kilogram and how to use it, how to unfold it, how to position it, best condition, place the panel 45 degree facing towards the sun to maximize the charging rate. This is night, uh, home lightning, what you can do. Okay, but now let's see. Uh, the material, it's, it's a like from a backpack, like an, from an outdoor backpack. So I would assume this is a little bit, or at least a little bit, water resistant. We got power add, power your life, po so power solar panel, 14 watt. And let's, ooh, this is tight. And first of all, you get some instructions. 14 watt solar panel, output 5 volts, 2 ampere. Ideal condition, what you can charge, battery, cell phones, tablets, gaming consoles, photographs, cameras, iPods, radios, walkie talkies, GPS and all the stuff and some information so now if you have trouble okay how to help and ooh, there we go first solar panel here and let's see how many panels there are one we got two we got three and we got four so four panels for 14 watt so that would mean the seven uh, watt version would only have four uh, two panels but we got 14 uh, for for 14 watts. This is nice, but but this thing is huge. And now, how do you gonna charge your devices? There should be some kind of USB port, maybe in this pouch. Yes. Oh, we got a cable. Ooh, we got short cable. There we go. This is we got you got your normal standard USB port. So you need still your charging cable to USB to micro USB, USB to lightning and all the stuff to charge your devices but there's plenty of room in this pocket for other things uh, for, this for the charging cable so no problem. And uh, of course I will try this out with all the devices I'm testing this time. This is the Lumia 640XL, the normal X140, my normal iPhone. Of course I will also check, uh, test it out with, um, uh, with, with tablets, with an iPad, with an iPad mini, uh, with a Nexus device and all the stuff and see if it will work, how good are the conditions if the sun is shining, if the sun is shining, but there are some clouds, what about heavy clouds and all the stuff. I will do all the funny testing things. And um, one thing, um, there could be power uh, fluctuations. So Power Ad also sent me one of their mobile power devices, so their uh, battery packs. This one is 10,000 milliampere hours, and um, but you can use this with any other mobile battery pack you got. Just charge them, use the solar panels to charge the battery pack, and then use the battery pack 
to charge your devices. Uh, this is the way to go so that your devices get constant, a constant energy rate for charging. Um, one thing that I don't think is that you will save money using this. This is a 14 watt version. This costs here in Europe and Germany via Amazon 36 euros. And one information, a normal standard Apple iPad user. Uh, if you're using the, your iPad on an average basis, the uh, energy costs over one over a whole year. So the energy cost of an Apple iPad, if you're using it just the normal standard way, um, is around or not it's 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 one figure a euro amount so anything from one euro to nine euros not ten euros so you see um, the energy costs of those mobile devices are not that high maybe if you charge your iPhone every day you get a higher amount and but you need a long time only using the solar panel device to get your energy costs uh, to save on your energy costs because you first spend 36 euros and i don't even know uh, what about the environmental costs how how environmental friendly those energy solar panels are yes this, this is us one single silicium uh, device cells even in this cheap uh, segment you don't get anything other than silicium uh, um, silicon um, and I'm not sure here um, how environmentally friendly those were de uh, produced. You need a high amount of uh, energy to, to produce silicon. Uh, of course, if you're using solar energy, renewable energy to produce silicon, this would be nice. But uh, keep also in mind the cost. What about recycling these so, so solar panels? In my opinion, you won't save money with these device, devices. And don't really don't uh, talk about energy environmental being, uh, being environmental friendly. The, in my opinion, the only advantage of those solar panels should be that you are independent. You don't need an outlet. You don't need another power source. If you go hiking, camping and all the stuff, being far, far, far away from civilization and power sockets, those solar panels are a nice thing to think about if they are working. But then keep in mind one kilogram of weight, of additional weight to your, to your tracking devices. On the other hand, maybe you could think about getting solar panel energy or and why renewable energy for your house, for your home, uh, and then just charge a mobile battery pack at home and then took, take this with you. This should be lighter. And if you're using a renewable energy at home, uh, do the same trick without the need of buying a power solar power pack this is cool don't get me wrong uh, wrong uh, i really look f i'm really looking forward to test this out and if, if will it work but i just want to keep it down keep it on a normal logical conversation if those panels are the right way to go uh, for every personal uh, each person to own their own and um, but i will try it out and tell you guys if the battery solar panel pack is working and if it does the trick. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.